you're feeling a bit of remorse or regret from buying so many miniatures in the past few months. Or maybe you're looking at your tall pile of backlogs and you're thinking to yourself, I'll never be able to paint this in my lifetime. Well, you better watch every second of this video. And if you don't feel those feelings that I just mentioned, you better save this video because when you do feel that, you're gonna wanna watch this because in this episode of Hobby Mo Pro, we're gonna be going through all the different advice that I've got from various hobbyists on how they eat through their backlog and stay motivated in the hobby. This video was designed to be that watch in case of lack of motivation video. So do save this video in your bookmarks should you feel the need to watch it again or should you feel the need to find some motivation where you just can't find it. My name is Louis of Louis Loves Minis and today I'll be reading to you some advice that was shared to me by other fellow hobbyists about staying motivated in the hobby with the hopes of keeping you guys painting every day. In addition to that, if you do find that there's better advice where you're from that's not being listed down in this video, share it in the comments below. I imagine the comments box will be an ever-growing list of great advice for various hobbyists through different points in time moving forward into the future. Juno says, build a narrative, even a simple story, even if it's just eye candy. It helps me decide the loadout, the look, the pose, and even the base paint of the scheme. So sure, this tip is very uh, is about planning, but the planning part also helps you look forward to completing the model. The plan itself could be used to motivate the fruition of said plan. Steve says, set aside 15 minutes a day to hobby. 15 minutes is not daunting. Often, 15 minutes turns into much longer. Ricky says, I find better hobby time through good organization of my hobby workspace, i.e. cleaning up my desk. I get home around 7.30 p.m., have dinner and relax, play with the kids a bit, and I'm painting from either 9 to 10 to 12. Some sessions go past into 2 a.m. if I'm really hot. Okay, I guess he's a very organized uh, painter. Tech says, setting small goals per project or session helps make things a bit less monotonous. Kinda funny, but it's pretty easy to forget that you should be enjoying painting. That helped me a lot when I remember that I should just be enjoying the hobby. Yep, 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 yep. Empty says, similar to actual work, setting realistic but challenging short-term goals helps me. Posting a list of 20 or so specific models, I want to complete by the end of the month put some additional focus and accountability for your projects. No need to be super strict and stressed about it but having a concrete goal helps you keep your eye on the prize. Also, getting to look back on what you achieved at the end of each month really helps motivation up versus getting one or two unrelated models done. That's true, when you sort of uh, plot a whole path between starting point and end point and you write down all the things that you've done so far, it really helps moving forward a lot easier knowing that you've told yourself, I've done this before, I can do it again. Or, uh, or, or looking at the end goal and say, that looks so great. Joshua says, never hesitate to take a step back and review the fundamentals. More often than not, especially when we've been painting for a while, we realize that the biggest mistakes are born from ignoring the simplest of guidelines. Lee says, a director makes only one movie in his life. Then he breaks it up and makes it again. Jean Renoir, I don't know who he is, but that's a director. Although this quote is from a director, I think it's applicable to any artist slash builder slash maker of stuff. Unless the one you are working on is an expensive or rare kit, just finish it. Just finish something and learn from it. Use what you learn and push a little further. Sort of like a getting better every time, climbing a ladder, that sort of stuff. So Jello has a funny contribution which is in Tagalog but I'll translate. Your family or your parents will just end up selling your models when you die. And possibly even at a much lesser price. So <laughs> better paint it or experience the joy of building it before they sell it off. I guess it can be true. Carl has a different approach. The average lifespan is 75 years. Deduct your current age. Count the number of unbuilt or unfinished kits in your stash. 
compute the average number of kits you do per year. Assuming terrible, assume terrible results. Assess your self-worth and life decisions. Either pay it faster or sell your mini. I, I know he said this as a joke, but I included it because uh, I, I guess it's good to also realize and know um, if you do have time for the amount of minis that you're buying. This one's initially in Tagalog, but I'll translate. If you don't paint your miniatures, your mom is just gonna give it away to your cousins <laughs> to play with. <laughs> it's actually very motivating advice. Carl is back with a serious answer. Look at other people's works that are better than yours. I personally get fired up if the work is amazing, even though that I kind of want to be able to do something like it too, and maybe even beat it in a contest with myself. Some people get discouraged though, which is a shame. So I, I do get that. Uh, I actually also fall to get in the trap of getting discouraged because it's, it's, it's normal to feel discouraged when you co compare yourself to other people. And it's also normal to compare yourself with other, with other people. But finding inspiration in other people is also a great way to motivate yourself. Zach says, find something that motivates you. Yes. In my case, it's tournaments. If a tournament schedule is up, my painting rackets up to a thousand percent and I try to get as much of my army painted as possible. I don't always succeed, but it's a kick in the balls with get things done. Afterwards, painting slows down again. I try to sneak in 1 to 1.5 hours of painting a day. I don't always get to do it, but when it happens, I set little goals like one coat of paint or one shade. I try to finish it as much as I can with a lot of time outside of the tournament schedule. Baby steps into the next one. Alternatively, Wilson says, if you feel like doing it, do it. If you feel like stopping, stop it. Don't pressure yourself. Everyone works at their own pace. Do what makes you feel comfortable, then stick with it. Then when the time is right, you'll move on to probably another style that suits mature you. Just don't forget to start doing it. Keep moving. Okay, Milo actually contributed a lot of tips. Um, Milo says, number one, do something related. Paint, prime, assemble, file, plan. This includes um, looking at your model's details, watching videos, analyzing color schemes, and even playing around with your materials. Two, paint when you are in the mood. Sometimes it'll happen on the spot. Other times, 3 a.m., keep the call. All right, I have several works in progress. Don't feel too bad about having several whips um, because you can maximize your mood and basically choose between which project to paint on for that specific night. Battle through. At some point, usually midstream, you will hate your paint job. Just keep at it. You will either remedy it or learn something new. Just finish it. Always try something new. Each mini, big or small, is an opportunity to push yourself. Scared about non-metallic metal? Give it a try. Dreading OSL? Just do it. Experienced painters had to start somewhere. Be inspired. Use others' works as inspiration. Look at nature. Check out comics or movies. When you find objects in the real or fantasy world, ask yourself, how would I paint this? You are already better. Don't underestimate your skill. To a beginner, your outputs are inspiration already. That's really sweet advice, actually. You'll, you'll always be there to inspire someone, just in the same way someone will inspire you. I like that. Jian says, I just look at my backlog pile and say, oh, the money. <laughs> More than enough for me to start working on my backlogs. I guess it's true for some people. Edric says, watch Uncle Atom while painting. Pa chow to his channel over here. Sean says, well, in Tagalog, but I'll translate, your roles will become better when your models are painted. Ian promotes a hashtag in his hobby group. Basically, he has a hashtag called progress, not perfection. It's a good hashtag. So this is advice from hobbyists of different perspectives and different walks of life. And my hope for this video is that one or two or three of these things you could pick up and use to pick up that paintbrush and start painting again. And if ever you haven't, look at the comments below. Maybe someone's posted something in addition and maybe that person could have been you in the past, motivating another person. So I wanna invite you guys, at the end of this video, I wanna invite you guys to contribute something in the comment box 
and maybe encourage a fellow hobbyist who sort of lost his way or lost his motivation. And this could sort of be a great post that people could just keep around in their back pockets when they need to. That's been the episode for today, guys. Thanks for watching, and always remember, hobbying every day keeps us bruised.